In this video, I'll show you how you can use Keywords Everywhere inside the Google search results pages, and I'll also show you how you can perform keyword research as you are doing searches inside Google. So let's get started. All right, so I will be showing you all of the features from Keywords Everywhere in this Google search results page. So first up is this keyword level data for your search phrase. So for today's example, I searched for digital marketing and you can see this keyword level data from Keywords Everywhere. Now this data is pulled from the Google Keyword Planner. We show you the average monthly search volume for this search term. You can see the average cost per click for Google Ads. You can see the competition score for Google Ads, and it's from zero to one, one being the most competitive. And if you hover over this little bar graph, you can see the exact monthly search volume over the past 12 months. And you can click on this little star to add this search phrase to your favorites list. And when you click on the search bar to see all of these suggested keywords from Google, you'll also see keyword level data for these keywords as well, okay? So you can see the average monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, and you can also see the exact monthly search volume over the past 12 months for all of these keywords listed right here. Now let's scroll down and focus on the widgets on the right-hand side. This first widget right here is the SEO difficulty widget. It shows you some scores from zero to 100. It shows you the SEO difficulty score, whether or not it's a brand query. It also shows you the off-page difficulty score for this search phrase, including the on-page difficulty score. And if you click on this button to find long tail keywords, it'll open up this report right here. Now this report uses Google's autocomplete API to find thousands of long tail keywords related to your main search phrase. So you can see right here for our search phrase digital marketing, keywords everywhere found 1,333 keywords related to this phrase. You can also see the average monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, the trend over the past year, and also the trending percentage. Next up is the trend data widget. Now this chart shows you the historical search volume up until 2004. If you hover over this graph, you can see the search volume for each time period. This is a great chart to look at to see how search volume has changed over time. And next up is the related keywords widget. Now this widget has keywords that Google considers directly related to your search term. You can see there are eight related keywords. You can see the average monthly search volume, cost per click, competition score, and the trend over the past year. Next is the trending keywords widget. Now this data comes directly from Google Trends. This widget has an additional column that shows you the trending percentage. This tells you how much the keyword has trended over the past 30 days. Next up is the people also search for widget. Now this widget shows you what additional keywords people are searching for inside Google related to your search phrase. And the last widget is the long tail keywords widget. So this widget uses Google's autocomplete API as well. It shows you the best long tail keywords for your search query. It's listing a total of 17 long tail keywords. But if you scroll all the way to the top and click on this find long tail keywords button, you can see all of the long tail keywords right here in this report. Now, every time Keywords Everywhere shows you keyword level data, like right here in the search dropdown right here, and for all of these widgets, it does take one credit for every single one of these keywords. So for the trending keywords widget, there are a total of 21 keywords listed here with the keyword level data. So 21 credits are being taken up here. And there are eight keywords here with keyword level data. There's eight credits taken up here. And also up here as well, there's one credit taken up here and a credit for each one of these keywords in the dropdown as well. And so on for the additional keywords on this page listed in these widgets. So if you want to save on your credits, just click on the Keywords Everywhere extension and click on Settings. It'll open up this page and you can toggle on or off whether or not you want Keywords Everywhere to work in Google search. And if you continue scrolling 
to credit usage for widgets, you can individually turn off the widgets that you want to. So this is a great way to save on your credits. Lastly, I want to touch on the backlink and traffic data that appears for each standard organic listing on the page. Let's focus on this first one right here. Now, if you hover over this first row, you can see the link metrics for this website. Now, this data does come from Moz. There's also a helpful chart here that shows you the historical domain authority for this website as well. And if you hover over this second row, this one will open up the traffic's widget. Now this data shows you an estimate of how much traffic this website gets from Google. You can see the estimated organic traffic per month for this URL and also for the entire domain. We also show you how many total keywords that this URL ranks for. And we also show you the total number of keywords that this domain ranks for as well. And if you wanna check out those keywords, you can just click on the links. Okay, so those are all of the features from Keywords Everywhere in the Google search results pages. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you want to check out some other helpful videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. With that said, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.